thank Senator Paul for, he was the first of the U.S. Senators to meet with me in Washington. This has been a whirlwind effort, to say the least. We are jamming a year and a half to what would normally be a one and a half to two year campaign into what, 16 weeks? We're running in eight weeks, which you would normally do it in more than six months. Um, so we've gone from zero to 60 overnight. We've been successful at establishing, I think, a terrific grassroots ground game. Um, throughout the suburban and rural areas, and even in many urban areas, we have engaged hundreds, over a thousand grassroots activists across the state um, who are deeply passionate about this race. And that's going to make the difference in this election. And folks, I want to remind you that this election, I'm going to speak about this again later today, it's not about Steve Lonigan. It's not even about Cory Booker. October 16th is about Barack Obama. This election is about the Obama <coughs> agenda. It's about Obamacare, it's about his failed Middle Eastern policy, it's about his failed economic policy. It's about a Federal Reserve Bank that's printing some $85 billion a month in new cash to keep this economy afloat. And we have an opportunity to set this agenda back on its heels. Do you guys, do you guys want a senator with an imaginary friend? Or do you want a senator who cares about real people? Did you hear who T-Bone's dating? You remember the president when he wrote his autobiography? He had a composite girlfriend. He combined all his girlfriends into one fictitious girlfriend. Now, if you're going to do that, you'd probably want to put all their best attributes into one girl. But So the president's got a composite girlfriend. Cory Booker's got a composite buddy or friend named T-Bone. I heard they were dating. But you want a senator who cares about real people. Yeah. Over in New Lynnhurst, there's a woman by the name of Samantha. She's been out of work for two years. There's 15,000 people out of work in Newark. One in three people in Newark are living in poverty, and Cory Booker's got an imaginary friend named Tebow. <laughs> you want a senator who isn't busy creating imaginary friends. You want a senator who's busy creating real solutions. How do we get jobs? I'll tell you what I tell them in Kentucky. You leave more money in Kentucky and you send less money to Washington. Yeah.